Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire live trivia show. My name is Genoveva and I'm delighted to have you here tonight because the international variant of this well-known game show has been aired across 130 countries worldwide. And tonight you're just 15 questions away from equally sharing a grand prize, 500 euros. So let's jump into the rules. As always, they're very simple. You're gonna have 15 questions with four possible options to choose from, with only one of them being the right one. So if you manage to answer correctly in 10 seconds, you're gonna be able to equally share a grand prize of 500 euros. Also, if you're not sure the correct answer, you can use one of the two lifelines, 50-50 or ask the audience. So if you choose 50-50, we can be removing two of the incorrect answers away. And if you ask the audience, you're going to be able to see what other players are choosing for their answer. So as always, guys, wish you best of luck. Hopefully those questions are going to be fairly easy. So you know the rules, you know the lifelines. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, everybody, here comes the very first question. Fingers crossed. Good luck. Which large African mammal is often hunted for its horn? Rhino, lion, giraffe, or crocodile? A, B, C, or D. Well, guys, looking forward for all of you answering correctly to the first one. So, time is up for sure. Let's have a look how many of you got it. So, the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, is a rhino. So here we have 4,207 players answering correctly to the first question. Well, fingers crossed. Here comes the next one. Which tech company makes the Chrome web, web browser? Microsoft, Amazon, Firefox, or Google? Last seconds on the clock. What do you think? I'm pretty sure all of you have used this one at one point in your life. Well, guys, <laughs> time to reveal the correct answer. And Chrome Web Roaster uh, is made by Google, of course. So these are the correct answer, guys. Congratulations, all of those who are still in. And of course, keep in mind, 10 seconds on the clock. Here comes the next question. How many stars on the Australian flag? A, one, B, two, C, three, or D, six? Any idea about this one? Australian flag. <laughs> oh, thank you. Of course. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> All right. So time is up. Let's have a look. The correct answer. This time as well. D. Six uh, stars in a Australian flag. Well, guys, uh, of course, fingers crossed. Let's see how it goes with the fourth question. Which singer had hits in 2021 with Good For You and Driver's License? A. Olivia Rodrigo, B. Billie Eilish, C. Ariana Grande, or D. Ed Sheeran? What do you think? Good For You and Driver's License. Well, surely I can hear those songs in my head right now. Well, the correct answer seems to be... A, Olivia Rodrigo. Well, a little bit tough question for some. Not everybody answering correctly, but those are still in. Best of luck. Here comes the fifth question. In what substance do mosquitoes lay their eggs? A, milk, B, sugar, C, sand, or D, water? Well, mosquitoes, what do you think? All right, well, have a Good feeling about this one. <laughs> Many of you going for one specific answer and it seems like that's the correct one. D, water, of course. So here we have 1,601 players still fighting for the grand prize, equally shared 500 euros. And keep in mind, lifelines as well could be useful, 50-50 or ask the audience. Let's go next question. What is the first name of British tennis star Raducanu who won the US Open in 2021 at the age of 18? Emma, Anna, Lisa or Katie? A, B, C or D. Is that your final answer? All right, guys, time is up. Answers locked in. So let's reveal the correct one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Emma. A is the correct answer. So actually quite a lot of you still fighting for that grand prize. Well, keep in mind, 10 seconds on a clock. Seventh question. Let's do this. What was the surname of John, the character played by Kit Harrington in the Game of Thrones? A. Sleet, B. Snow, C. Frost, or D. Chill? 
Well, surely popular TV series, Game of Thrones, who has seen it? <laughs> then you must know. Ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer, of course, uh, he was Jon Snow in the, <laughs> in the Game of Thrones. So, uh, yeah, but he's the correct answer, guys. Congratulations. So far, so good. Now getting in the middle. Eighth question. Which metal was used to make the Statue of Liberty, which has turned green over the years? Copper, iron, lead or brass? Final seconds on the clock. Well, the Statue of Liberty, ladies and gentlemen, is made out of... Yes, you guessed it. A. Copper. Congratulations, 1,188 players. Actually, it's made out of 179,000 pounds of copper. All right, guys, moving forward. Ninth question. Which sport is played by Chinese star Feng Shui, who hit the headlines after disappearing from view in 2021? Swimming, soccer, tennis, or golf? A, B, C, D. Well, seems like I have a well, quite good feeling about this one. Many of you going for one specific answer. And guys, you were right. It is C tennis. <laughs> good job. We still have quite a lot of you trying to fight for that grand prize. Equally split 500 euros. Let's go. Tenth question. Who stars as Ace Ventura in the range, range of movies with the same name? Tom Cruise, Leonardo DiCaprio, Robin Williams or Jim Carrey? Last seconds, guys, to get that right. Well, answers locked in. Time to reel the correct one. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, who doesn't remember Jim Carrey? These are the correct answers. So still 1,085 players fighting for that grand prize. Keep in mind about lifelines if you still have them 50-50 or ask the audience. Let's go. Next question. What is the name for two words spelled differently but pronounced the same, such as blue or blue? Antonym, metaphor, homophone, or synonym? Well, A, B, C, or D. What do you think? All right, so, well, seems like wasn't that... <laughs> Wasn't that scary, this question? Well, guys, the correct answer seems to be C. Uh, those are called homophones. So, guys, 935 players still fighting for that grand prize. Only four steps away now. Good luck. What would you mix with vodka to make a Moscow Mule cocktail? Orange juice, cranberry juice, lemonade, or ginger beer? So, final seconds, guys. What are you thinking? Moscow Mule cocktail. Have you tried it though? I haven't. All right, guys. Well, the right answer is gonna be D, ginger beer. And actually, they were matched together not because of the taste, but because they were not sold, like you know, really, really much separately. All right, guys. Let's go. Next question. Which character did Angela Lansbury play in a long-running TV show about a writer who solves crimes? Amelia Baker, Jessica Fletcher, Susanna Cooper, or Kathy Driver. So, anybody, any idea about this one? Well, surely time is up now, but most of you are actually going for one specific answer, and seems like you got it. It is B, Jessica Fletcher. Congratulations, guys. Only two steps away now to equally split our grand prize, 500 euros. Let's go. Good luck. Which math term describes the distance around the edge of the circle? Circumference, diameter, radius or pi a b c or d what do you think circumference diameter radius or pi ladies and gentlemen answers locked in and the correct one is a circumference congratulations guys those were still fighting for the grand prize 714 players well just one question away now so really intrigued to see how many of you are going to be answering correctly every single question let's do this final question guys which nfl side was the first to win the super bowl twice san francisco 49ers new england Patri patriots green bay packers or kansas city chiefs so is that your final answer well, seems like quite split thoughts in this one. Well, guys, time to reel the correct one. And 
It's gonna be C Green Bay Packers. So here we have 471 lucky winners, equally sharing a grand prize of 500 euros. Here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Live Trivia. So my compliments to all of you guys. Really hope you enjoyed the show. By the way, we're gonna have another one in less than four hours. So hope to meet you there at 10 p.m. GMT time. Until then, might be a good way to spend the time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Live Roulette as well. So once again, guys, congratulations. Hope you had a fun and see you a little bit later. Bye-bye for now.